Dear students, today we discuss the concept of analog to digital converters of 8051 microcontroller. The IC we are using for this conversion here is ADC0804. So before we are going to the basic the timing diagram and program, we will see what is the future of this IC. So this is a basic uh, IC to convert your analog convert your analog signal to digital signal. Okay, this IC this IC will provide maximum of eight bit resolution. If you want to have, go with the higher bit resolution, you want to go with the other ICs. Then this has a future of single channel input. Then third, it's a you have a this IC have a built-in clock features. Then it can be interfaced with the microcontroller using parallel data lines easily. It can be interfaced with the microcontroller easily using parallel data line. This is the future of this IC. Okay, so to to need to understand the timing diagram and to write the program this conditions are very important first thing chip select okay so the chip select it should be low it should be low to activate the adc chip adc chip but while writing the program this logic you need not to represent it's a basic uh, logic you need to activate the adc chip to activate the adc chip remember your chip select should be zero okay then the read so read it is active low if it go low only it will read the data your adc ic will read the data so it is something like a high to low once it get the low used to read converted data from ADC then write the write also low enabled once you give the low low what happened it will start the conversion okay so I will uh, going to the timing data will understand okay just remember those things then interrupt see always while interrupt is not raised the default will be high default interrupt default will be high okay once the process is converted then it goes low signal once interrupt go low then only read low will be enabled one read is goes to low it will read the data through the pins okay through the pins what we have connected d0 to d7 through port 1 okay so you can see here see the chip select very important chip select should be zero to activate the ic another important thing you can see here the chip select is low okay while it is low the write is zero right the write is zero once write is zero once write is zero that is see you can see this is your high to low transition it's a falling edge of the low okay once it's a falling edge okay it's a falling edge i have taken the falling edge one right is zero it will start the conversion so while it start the conversion interrupt is one you can see so it start the conversion it's it's doing so d0 to d7 is a it's a data lines where it is connected to the port one see once once interrupt say the end of the conversion once is the end of the conversion you can see the interrupt rise the low signal once the interrupt goes to low see, see the next state the read is going to low 
once see see carefully when once the read goes low see the chip select also low once read is low data is go out so ready to read the data so i'll i'll repeat it again see chip select should be low during like a both write write and read operation you can say this enable the like a communicate with the adc it's a basic way to say in clear play it's a enable communicate with the adc see once it goes low like a chip select first thing it will activate the adc chip then once it go low you can see here the right so right it's going low it's see something like it's a falling edge it's a falling edge so when right goes low it's it's signal to adc it's signal to adc to start the conversion process it start conversion is start during this conversion please understand interrupt is one interrupt is one it is a basic is the is basically it will be high during the initial phase once the job is over the end of the conversion the interrupt goes low once its interrupt goes low so you can see here during those condition right will be always high okay so the AD, AD, adc will return to high you can see here to be high so it I, it is not a significant state actually in wr equal to 1 it's not a significant state actually the wr is zero it's a very significant state actually okay once it's end of the conversion the enter goes low see here read so read it's a high to low pulse so high to low pulse so it's something like high to low pulse so this is a low pulse where you are seeing here once it gets a low pulse the so data are out once the data are out it read to the port one so road port one to accumulate so this is the logic we need to write the program i hope you understand right with this knowledge we will go to this next steps already you familiar with the steps already i cleared see chip select to zero okay is a very very basic steps to start the operation then the data lines are connected as a input then write and read as connected as a output you know because it's a low enable so wr is 0 and read is 0 it's a it's a low enable so it's connected as a output so interrupt is connected as a input because it's set high initially it's set high so it's a set as a input see when uh, write pin when you get a high to low so low you are seeing the falling edge when it get a zero right zero it start the conversion start of conversion so that's what they said say low send low so you can see here you are seeing the falling edge once start of conversion is happened again right goes to high that's what they said low to high price then interrupt once the conversion is complete initially interrupt will be high once conversion is complete interrupt goes to low so it's the end of the like a conversion right so once interrupt goes low the read uh, get the signal of low once uh, after interrupt, interrupt goes low see the send the high to low pulse so once it recognizes zero interrupt recognize zero goes to low your read is goes to zero then uh, read the converted data, digital data from adc 0804 this is a large so i'll just give you the idea okay so please remember the spins are very important to write the program see this 2.5 is a pin where the read is connected the 2.6 is a pin where your write is connected so please note down near yeah, note we will write the program so the port 1 to 7 8 pin is connected that is a d0 to d7 the interrupt is connected 2.7 this is a chip select so you can see this is a part resistor so it is a 
or bringing the future of like analog signal when you vary this part resistor you will get the signal of analog signal so that analog only converting your analog to digital through this ic so while after converting that data is read through this port okay see here the read and write it's considered to be the output the interrupt is considered to be the input okay so this is a basic thing you need to remember so the part resistor it's it's giving a ideal knowledge of giving a analog input or will you change it those signal only converting to digital okay so now we go to the program see here already i said this 2.6 where your right is connected 2.7 where your, uh, your uh, interrupt is connected you can see here see the 2.7 where your interrupt is connected okay interrupt is connected the 2.5 is where read is connected okay the 1.0 is where 1.0 to 1.7 it's a where the d0 to d7 of adc 804 is connected okay these things are very important to write the program so another thing also the right to start the conversion we need to give low to high so okay so this is very very important similarly for uh, like a your read you will be giving like a high to low so this is very important here this is very important both both at zero zero low okay now we will begin the program so move port one f f h so i am configuring the port one as input so immediately the immediate data i am sending to port one that means I am configuring port 1 as a input ports. That's it. The next line clear port 2.6. What is the 2.6? It's the right pin where it is connected. So, first I am saying write 0. So, you know chip select should be 0, right? Then only EDC will be activated. Those things will not, we need not to write in the program. It's a basic hardware set okay here i am giving a right is zero that is a low you can see it's a low once you give the low once you give the low the conversion will be start okay then you have to make it to high okay so you can see in the timing diagram clearly it was given see the timing see the right is zero immediately it goes to high see you can see here then only the start conversion is happening so same this logic only i'm writing the program write is zero that is uh, clear then i set see here so this is a logic where the low this is a logic where high okay here you are saying the right is zero and right is one here this is a phase the conversion is starting once the wr is zero and goes to high the start of conversion is started okay see interrupt default is high you want, you know already right the interrupt default will be high only okay so here is a label jump if you if you have a bit okay so if it is set you know interrupt is one only so it will check the port 2.7 the 2.7 is where your interrupt is connected right so you know it is one right while it doing the conversion it is one only so it will keep keep like a polling in this loop okay until until its conversion once process is converted so it wait for the end of the conversion actually this is a loop for for wait for the end of the conversion. Once conversion is completed, the interrupts goes to 1 to 0. So that means the condition fail, right? The condition fail, it breaks this instruction and comes to next line. Please understand once the interrupt goes 0, interrupt goes 0, the read 
also move from high to low that means it start to read the data so it give the low signal so that's why i'm writing clear port 2.5 2.5 is uh, where your read pin is connected so it's making low so that means conversion finished enable rd so you can see now the port one is ready to read the data port one is ready to data because process conversion is completed the read has been enabled so whatever i got converted it is through d0 to d7 it reaches the port one from the port one data is transferred to accumulator that's it then internally you have a conversion process and display those things you are not discussing now then again it goes to the next round right read equal to 1 that is uh, making set b port 2.5 that's the next uh, loop start then again like a short jump back again goes to once uh, first see before going to the short jump loop you need to set this very important set b port 2.5 that makes r equal to 1 for next round so this is the logic of 